Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Now I'm going to give you a piece of practice advice which is going to be amazing for you but before we do that I just want to tell you about my 1 to 30 violin course that I know a lot of you uh, that are watching this don't know exists. My 1 to 30 violin course is a fully comprehensive and professional course that guarantees to take you from a complete beginner to a very decent accomplished intermediate level by the end of it. The course is very simple and it's very easy to understand without the commitment of an in-person tutor, which is fantastic really and what most of us want. But it does guarantee to still give you the same level as skill that you would get from a private tutor. This course has been based on my 20 odd years of a private teaching that I've done through the course of my career. The course has been designed so that anyone at any age and any level can follow it. The lessons and videos are very easy to follow and you don't need any prior knowledge of any music or any other instruments or anything whatsoever. The course covers everything from how to hold the violin, how to hold the bow, how to read music, technical exercises to improve your skill and dexterity, music theory, bowing techniques, more complex pieces, more techniques, everything, everything that you could possibly need and much, much more. There really is no other course like this available on the internet and all the reviews on my shop speak for themselves. Basically what I'm trying to say is that my course will take you from this eventually this. The course is 100% downloadable. There are no physical books to ship out, no waiting times or anything like that. As soon as you buy, you can download and get started on the course immediately. It's available worldwide to anyone um, and is available from my shop, www.amsmusicshop.com and is priced at 59.99 US dollars. So basically, once you pay, you can get started straight away. All you're going to need before you start and download the course is your violin and your enthusiasm. Okay, so the practice hack I'm talking about here is to play with a metronome. Now, first of all, it's up to you if you want to get a metronome like this or you want to get those pendulum ones. Um, it's completely up to you. It doesn't really matter. The pendulum ones are great because you can physically see them moving. But as long as you can hear something, it, it doesn't really necessarily matter. Playing with a metronome is going to be so great for your, your practice. And you're not really going to know what I'm talking about until you actually go ahead and try it. But what I would do is choose a piece of music and start playing it slow. If you cannot play a piece of music slow, you cannot play it fast. So that's the first thing to do. The second thing that I would do as well is if you can get a copy of the music or use pencil, I've printed this out and I've used red lines. So don't put red pen in your sheet music, guys, unless you can print out another version or it doesn't really matter or whatever. But always use pencil on sheet music so you can rub it out. I've just used red pen. 
for the purpose of this video. But as you can see here, I've divided out the beats. So you can see this is in this is in 4-4, four, four, so we've got four beats in a bar, and I've put red lines where all of those beats go. Now, this piece of music is March from my songbook one, my one to 30 violin course that I was talking about a few moments ago. This is what you would move on to after you've done the first 10 lessons. So I've divided out the beats here. So I'm gonna play this to you with a metronome and I'll have this up on the screen so that you can see what I'm looking at. I'm starting this metronome at 60, 60 beats a minute. Now, I'm not sure that this you are gonna be able to hear the violin and you're gonna be able to hear this coming out at the same time. Um, I don't know how much of that is actually gonna come out on camera, but I'm gonna leave it there. And I'm just gonna play a little bit of this. So what I would do then is, is play that all the way through. I'm not gonna do it all because it's gonna make this video so long. And then I would play it through a few times, assuming that I didn't make any mistakes and everything was fine. I'm gonna increase the speed. Now the next speed, I've got this set to 60, if we can see that there. The next speed I can set this to is 63 on my dial. Um, I hope this is coming out on camera there. So I'm gonna set this to 63. So it's probably not gonna be a much noticeable difference, but it, it's, in, it's small enough to be it's incremental and it will make a difference. So I would play this then through a few times at 63. Assuming that there were no mistakes and everything was going fine, I'd then take this up to 66, which is the next one. Then we've got 69 uh, and then we've got 72, 76 and so on go in the incremental values of what your metronome says. You might not have all of them on there. Um, sometimes they sort of give you certain notches, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do 60, 61, 62. That's, that's, you know, it, it's, it's going to be too much. Um, but I'm going to put it up to 80, skip through all the rest of it. Imagine that I've done that and put it up to 80 just for the purpose of this video. So then you can hear it's going to be a little bit faster. So then you'll play that through. And what this is gonna do is playing with a metronome is going to, it's gonna solidate your playing. It's gonna consolidate your rhythm. It's gonna make everything absolutely perfect because the thing about music is that there's no room for error. You cannot sweep mistakes under the rug. Everything has to be precise. Everything has to be perfect, which is why I think playing a music in instrument does suit someone with slight perfectionism or slight, sort of OCD tendencies, um, which are both of my personality traits, um, because I, I don't, you know, I, I like, I like perfectionism. I don't like it when things are out of place. So, you know, that, that suits me to do that. And if I'm slightly out of time, I don't like it. So it makes me perfect at rhythm. It makes my counting very good. It makes my music very, very accurate. That's not to say that eventually when I do want to give it some some expression later down the line, I can absolutely do that because I can um, I can go in and out of time as I see fit, um, but I can also make sure that I stay on track with that time as well. So dividing up the, the beats are gonna help you physically see where they need to go, especially if you've got problems um, you know, working out where the metronome beats are supposed to go and you're not quite sure. So it's gonna help you with your rhythm anyway. The metronome, it, the metronome is gonna help you with your playing. It's gonna keep you in perfect time and you can also hear the click on each beat or two per beat, you know, which, whichever is, is, is up to you. Gradually speed the piece up and then once you've done this, you'll start to understand the inner pulse of the piece of music, but you know, it's it's a very, very good practice tip and it's not very well done at all. A lot of people don't do this because they just simply can't be bothered to do it. But this is what practice is. Practice is very 
it's it's very meticulous um and people don't really realize you know playing with a metronome and doing all of this oh you know playing with a metronome is nothing i can play in time a metronome is giving you a lot more than playing in time a lot more than you actually realize what it what it's doing a metronome is giving you that inner strictness it's giving you the inner sense of a beat as well which isn't really going to make sense until you understand what it what i mean with that and you open up your mind to that and you've done this it's going to make your sight reading a lot better. It's going to make your, your rhythm reading a lot better. It's going to make everything about you a lot better because all of a sudden your brain is freed up and it's able to think about the tone and the other sounds that are coming out of the violin and not necessarily just what the eyes are looking at on the music. So many people will just go in straight away, da, 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 and just play this piece of music and that's it, with no thought about what's happening, no real thought of the rhythm. It's just something that you just do. You just go into autopilot and you're not really thinking about what you're doing. So this is where the metronome comes in and this is where that stability comes in and this is where your inner metronome comes in and it's going to help you in so many more ways. There we go, just a, a, a quick little kind of practice hack that maybe some of you have never even thought of, of doing. Get yourself a metronome, very, very handy. Start playing those pieces with metronomes. Start very painfully slow, depending on the piece of music. Maybe start it at 50 beats per minute or 60 beats per minute. And, and gradually work yourself up. It doesn't really matter if you're going faster than the intended speed of the piece necessarily because we're, we're using it for practice and dexterity and other purposes than a final performance piece. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. All the links to my 130 violin course are gonna be underneath and I will see you in my next video. Bye.